Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about comments. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer, do you agree that code comments should capture the intent of the code and why it's doing something rather than what it is doing? Yes and no. I would say that the problem with having such like have a rule for something like that is silly and stupid uh, because fr fundamentally what you're trying to say is not uh, you're, you're because you're trying to abstract the problem to a point where you can create a rule for it and that's silly and it's never going to work it's the same thing as saying that is it appropriate to create a rule where you state that, for example, in the, in the case of a fire, you should always save the children first. Well, that's only true if the children are in danger. But if you are the one who's who's caught inside of um, like the in 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 like in a room or something horrible like that, uh, and you're burning basically alive, and they are actually near the exit you don't have to focus on them you have to focus on yourself and it's the same it's the same thing like when you try to create a law for something where you should never ever be allowed to steal for any reason well how do we define and um, uh, the, the like you, or, or if you because if we, if that is the rule that you have created then that basically means that even in the case where someone's starving and they're literally going to have to choose between s stealing something or dying well then they should simply die and that brings us to wars uh should it uh, you know killing people that's illegal in practically every culture unless of course you're allowed to by the government so this this is something that a lot of people do and i think it is this it's it's a it's a it's an indicator of low intelligence and idealism and it really ties down to the fact that you are trying so hard to ment to satisfy mentally uh, to satisfy your mental gremlins so that you can create a nice clean abstraction on something that is so complicated that we as humans are not able to do that that is in essence what a philosophy is or an idealist depending now of course like because there are so many of the very versions of this but that is at the end of the day what you're trying to do because if for example your code if your code comment is about why something is doing something as an example I can simply state that well get username so why is it doing that well, I'll put a comment there explaining that, well, it's getting the username because whoever called this method or this function needs to know the username. That's not a very useful comment now, is it? But on the other hand, if, for example, you have a function called get statistics, what does that mean? Well, get statistics if I say that why is it doing something and I create a comment saying that well it's getting statistics because the sales department needs to know this that and so forth that's probably more useful but then saying that what it is doing is not useful well statistics is actually very interesting because statistics is the, the if you get a number showing how many sales you have how is that useful if that number only shows one market if in a multi in, in, in an international product for example are you showing the number for all the markets or are you showing it for one market are you or like if you show statistics related to user interactions well what users are you talking about so the the implementation of this logic can actually be so complicated and so business domain specific that you have no other way of communicating the intent and context which is the most important part of this code than through documentation basically and incidentally if you haven't thought about that that is what Google, like these services, like platforms as the services, so or so forth. Uh, these or uh, like these uh, solutions that Google, Amazon, and uh, the uh, and Microsoft and so forth, what they provide, like 
that's why they have entire wikis dedicated to basically explaining how their different systems work because there's no way that a person would be able to figure out what value and how that value is created by simply you know reading source code or you know having some very high level little video sort of explaining why it's doing this thing because the truth is that it very much depends on what you are doing as the reader or the consumer of the comment or the documentation because it is basically documentation what is the purpose or what is what is the problem of that person and that is why comments is so difficult that's why documentation is so difficult because the the only useful documentation is documentation that helps the person who is having a problem or is trying to understand something and in order for you to know what to write you need to understand the person what is the person looking for what or what are they trying to understand and that depends on so many different factors that it really comes down to do you understand the consumer of your documentation yes or no and that's why you can't create a rule for it because if you create a rule for it you won't actually you you will and this is like it's it's the exact problem that i have with uh, philosopher programmers they don't understand the problem so and because they don't understand the problem they preach the doctrine of somebody who you know hopefully understood the problem tried to do this exact thing tried to create a rule like an abstraction or like a term that they could use in order to sell a book or to communicate something and they use that as the absolute truth when the intent well depending on the person the author of whatever idea they have for these sorts of golden rules for doing things uh, there's something lost in translation. You, you you want to create something to showcase a lesson that you have learned, most likely through years of experience, and tell people that as a general rule of thumb is good to think about these things when designing something. And then you have the people of less intelligence or less skill or whatever, with less a something, who read that thing and just omit the it is a good general rule of thumb and treat it as this should always be true under all circumstances and that is what you call a fundamental uh, a fundamentalist uh, or an extremist at the very least and the this problem will never get a resolution guys so I really urge you to just do the only wise and sensible thing and to always always have two parts whenever you make a statement about anything number one is it always depends always and the second thing is to never ever 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 buy into an idea that says states that something is always true because of rule number one it always depends and if you can always follow those two lines of thoughts when, when whatever you do it does not matter in all aspects of life you will reach wisdom because the pragmatist's way of doing things is to look at each situation and realize that yes, there are common patterns that are usually true, but we can never go to a get to a point where we should just default to that without checking our facts first and understanding the context. Without context, no rule is ever is ever is it's irrelevant what rules you state because the context dictates what is true and what is false. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, uh, I don't think that it is uh, depending on how you define it because uh, this could be mean a million things, right? Uh, there is no rule that you will ever be able to formulate that is going to capture how to write good documentation or create a good comment in code. Never. Because the documentation is written for somebody else. And by stating that, yes, it's always going to be the case that you try to explain why something is doing something rather than what it is doing that is like well, semantics why is it doing something yeah it's doing this thing because it produces some value it really de depends on what are you going to write and if that is value building to the person who's reading it yes or no does it help them solve their problem because that's at the end of the day why you wrote it down so that they understand what's going on or like how to do something or answering a question or a line of thought something like that 
and that comes down to it's like authorship in general is the first rule of writing anything or doing anything if you don't understand your consumer then why the you know then you're not gonna know what to put there so what I tell people is to think about the person who is reading what do they need to know in order to either solve a problem or you know understand something etc etc then look at the code that you have if you have a really nice method name or something that really is descriptive well then you sort of can from the name understand what it's doing but as I said in some situations the thing that it's supposed to be doing actually where you actually really need to know what it is doing specifically because it you want to understand what the output means because if you don't understand what it's doing, you don't actually understand the stuff that you're getting back from the system or from the function or whatever. And sometimes it's really good to say why something is doing something, because an example would be if you're doing something really weird or you're connecting to an external API or something like that, it's really handy to know why you're doing that and why you don't have some other solution and so forth. But in some cases it's so pointless to write that down because it's obvious why it's doing what it's doing. It once again, as I said, depends on what problem am I trying to fix, what is the context, who, am, who is the reader, and what do they need from your comment or your documentation. Have a great day.